Today I'm going to wake up the performance of my little Park Zone Wildcat. This is my only belly lander and I bought it to fly in a field that isn't friendly towards landing gear. It's a lot of fun to fly but it's a bit lacking in power for me and, and the climb rate isn't as good as it could be. I did a little bit of research on the internet and I found a forum in which uh, one gentleman uh, threw in a Turnigy 3536C with a 10x8 prop and he increased the speed from 45 miles an hour to 72 miles an hour and that was um, allegedly verified with a radar gun. So I'm going to do that same conversion and see what I can get out of it and uh, if I can't get 72 miles an hour out of it, if all I get is a good climb rate, I'll be quite happy because this plane's a lot of fun to fly. Well there's not very much involved in this little hop up. All we're going to be using is a Turnigy 3536C 1100kV motor an aluminum motor mount by customrcparts.com, a Deans connector, and of course an ESC uh, made by Turnigy, and it's the Sentry 40 amp uh, model. Well, although the mounting location for the ESC means it's not as critical for center of gravity issues, I thought I'd weigh them anyway, and here's the stock 18 amp Park Zone ESC coming in at 30 grams. And the new 40 amp Trinity ESC with the balance ports comes in at 40 so it's 10 grams heavier. I could save 4 grams if I wanted to by cutting off the balance ports because I'm not going to be needing them anyway but I'm just going to leave them on in case I want to use them in some future project. This is just a little tip uh, in terms of soldering the bullet connectors onto your ESC. As you can see I'll be using my trusty old uh, Hago 936 soldering station. It works really great and I'm, I'm very happy with that. But the little tip is simply to take a piece of 2x4 and drill some holes that are just a little bit larger than the diameter of your bullet connectors and about half the depth. And all that this does is hold it in place very securely while you have the soldering iron in one hand and the solder in the other to fill the cups. So uh, I just thought I'd pass that along. Most of you probably already do this, but I have seen a few people struggle with um, you know, vice grips and things like that and it's just, this just makes it so easy. So there's a little uh, no-brainer tip of the day. Here's a quick peek at the ESC that's now uh, sporting a new Deans connector and bullet connectors for the motor wires. Well, as you can see, the Turnigy ESC slipped right into the stock mounting location with no modifications whatsoever. So that made this very, very simple. Well, I was really curious about the difference in weight between uh, the stock motor and motor mount combination and what I'll be replacing it with. So here's the stock Park Zone motor on its plastic motor mount. And as you can see, it's coming in at 119 grams. So we'll try the Turnigy version. So here's the 3536C on its aluminum motor mount. And it's 126 grams. So just a tad heavier, but uh, well worth it in terms of the power that we're going to gain. Well, as you can see, this is just a before uh, look at the front end of the plane and the stock Park Zone motor with the plastic motor mount. Well, here's a look at the motor and the motor mount installed on the plane. And the motor mount uh, fit perfectly. There was absolutely no misalignment whatsoever. And it looks like we're good to go. I'll be tidying up the wires a little bit once I confirm motor direction. And I've got a little bit of work to do to hog out the center of the cowl so that it fits over the end of the well here oh. she is all buttoned up all I had to do was enlarge the hole in the cowl a little bit for the prop shaft to come through oh so uh, all we need now is a little bit of decent weather for the maiden and I'll be able to get back to you with some impressions so we'll see you then